Hello YouTube, welcome back to another video. So this is the final video in terms of 7.4.4. It's the final path. It's the path of the gold on it. So a lot of people tend to just do this for completion because it's normally like the easiest one. The main thing to, I'd say, to have on this path if you can is Science Champions and preferably Red Hulk. The reason for that is the hazard shift is just going to juice him so quickly. The node on Science Champions is just going to juice him up as well. They become nullify immune. Um, and as you can see here, he just tore that Black Widow apart. It's crazy. She just got absolutely ruined. Um, yeah, so the node combination itself is a little bit weird. Obviously, the hazard shift, like I said, will give you the heat charges quicker. So that'll increase your red damage. Um, the fury buff that comes from uh, science champions landing hits there, as you can see, and also being nullify immune from the other part of the global. So the damage just ramps up. War machine here, um, pretty decent option defensive wise, actually, on this path. There's not really a great deal that I can think of that kind of counter it well. Especially if he constantly wants to throw special ones and he has this uh, fury up. But if you can get him to throw special twos like that, then you're on to a winner. But you can see the damage is just nuts with Red Hulk. Um, I am going to use other champions on the path, I promise. It's not going to be just a, a run through with Red Hulk. Just in case people don't have him, I'm going to show other champions that, that can actually do things on this path. And especially when it comes to the Mega Red that's just a little bit further down. I don't want to be using Red Hulk. But you can see there, I lost 25% on War Machine and I don't mind that. This special one's annoying. It's just what it is. I'm pretty sure you can't evade that. Um, next up is Tigra. So I do choose to use Red Hulk here. Again, she's a mystic. She's just she's just going to get whacked is the, is the nicest way to put it. If I can bait a couple of specials from her, then I'd appreciate it. But I know that normally she uh, she can be a bit of a nightmare wanting to throw them. And I noticed that a lot of the input issues that currently are in the game seem to be affecting like large champs like the Hulks and stuff like that. So I'm always a little bit more conscious when fighting like someone like a Tigra who has weird animations anyway. And then sometimes she just pops out of nowhere with a special attack. So here we're just going to like absolutely blitz. Again, hopefully... In a second, I think it is, hopefully. There you go, she throws a special one again. And then we can just try and just get this fight finished ASAP. Again, no problem for Red Hulk. He just walks through it. Um, this next fight, Omega Red. So I said that I was uh, not going to use Red Hulk for this, and I'm not. I'm going to use Gladiator Hulk. Now, the reason for this is if he's been stubborn and won't throw the special uh, one, he just wants to throw the special two, or if I get too many of these spores on me, what will happen is uh, Gladiator Hulk or Hulk Ragnarok will activate Face Me. So all of the damage that is done to me while Face Me is active, I gain 70% of that health back. Now, if I attack them into Hazard Shift when it's the Incinerate, I would also get 70% of that back plus the hill, uh, willpower. But for the most part, I tend to only attack just on the um, just on the poison, just to show you that you can. Obviously, here I go against what I've just said completely, and give the Mega Red the uh, the Fury buff, and he gives me a combo to say thank you. But by the time I can throw a few specials, and we can actually get into this fight properly, like I said if I'd got too many spores and this Mega Red was playing slightly differently, I'd be slightly more concerned. The one thing you can do on this node, um, that some people don't know until they're, until they're told, is that while this phase is on, if I was to hit a Mega Red constantly into his block, I wouldn't ever get any incinerates on me. So it's a good way of pushing people back, especially in like Alliance War on the Hazard Shift nodes or something if you're really struggling, and you just need a bit of space. If you can get the chance to uh, hit them back, then go for it. I just decide to hit him once or twice here. If I die with Gladiator Hulk, like it's what it is, it doesn't really make a big deal. I'm not going to be using them again for this path, I was just showing them that they are a viable option, especially for a Mega Red. So here he throws the special two. So I'm going to show you here, the face me gets activated and I start regening that <coughs> health. And the special two finishes him off. 
So again, my Gladiator Hulk's only rank 2, so the 5 star rank 5 equivalent. And without taking that combo to the face, that would have been a relatively easy fight where I would have still had a lot of HP left at the end. Human Torch, I'm going to put the pre-fight onto this Doctor Doom here. The main thing to remember on this is the fact that you will start off in the incinerate phase. So if you can, try and get the damage in quick here. So you can see there, every time I'm going to hit him in a second, I, I gain a fury obviously, but I also gain smolders. So my incinerate damage through the Nova Flames is just going to keep going up and up and up. And then if I cannot hit them during the poison phase, then that's good enough and fine by me. So you can see by the time we hit the poison phase and by the time he throws his first special, he's already basically at 20% health. So this fight isn't going to take long at all. A couple more combos. If I bait out another special now, he's dead anyway. And that's that's as hard as that Doctor Doom fight goes. If you manage to bring in Human Torch and apply the Nova Flames. So the last fight on the path is then um, this... Sorry, Silver Centaurian on... And I'm going to use Red Hulk again. The only thing with Silver Centurion is I don't really like dodging the animations. I think they're slightly weirdly timed. And that's just from not really having much... Oh, I fight him every day in AQ, but I was about to say I don't have much experience. I just don't like to use as many items as I can in AQ. So You can see there, by the way, that special, um, special one did like 120, 125k damage. It was a 45k hit and then I think it was 70k overall energy damage on top. So this is why I'm just saying that if you've got a Red Hulk, just use him. He just tears it apart. But that's the final path for exploration of this chapter, so or this mission even. So thank you very much for watching. If you are enjoying the content, please subscribe for more in the future.